Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this this video is a little bit uh, going to be a little bit late because like I was recording a video. I was actually going to play some deep uh, and then the update came out and then I played the deck that I've been wanting to play and I that that deck is going to be up in a bit. Uh, it's going to come out before before this this video this video is going to be in the same day I assume. But it's going to be after uh, after the deck that I've already uh, already uh, recorded. Which, spoiler... Well, not really a spoiler, is it, now? It, it's drag, Dragons and Vladimir with uh, the new Shivana And the new Vladimir. Because I've already taken a look at these patch notes. But I just thought I'd do a little rundown on them. Give my, my thoughts uh, ab about them. Um, on some of the other things. Like, uh, Lucian here can now trigger the same round as leveling. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that this is crazy. Insanely good. Felt like he needed a buff, but also, but you also can't buff him too much because he is very close. He's, al he's already very close to being really, really strong. It's just that finding the right place for him in the right deck with him that worked well with his ability was a little bit difficult uh, especially especially uh because it didn't trigger in the same round which kind of held him back on some of aggressive decks now that's no longer the case and now he actually better empowers those type of uh decks uh, and the type of decks i'm thinking is more of a you know more of an aggro shadow demacia shadow isles demacia uh, self, uh, self killing deck. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's Lucian. Uh, Shivana. Shivana is a very simple, uh, power up by one. Um, it's nice. Uh, I can say after playing with her, because I've actually, this, I've actually played with Shivana. It's, it, it helps with her level condition. A, it actually helps towards her level up condition in that way, so that's pretty nice. Um, I do wish she had one more. I wish it was health instead of... I mean, she doesn't die to coal, and that's pretty big. Not Dying to coal is really nice. She, she, actually, now she's actually comparable to the 4-drop in the... Uh, Call of the Mountain. Targon, in the Targon region... Uh, the silver fire she has the same stat line as the silver fire except she doesn't have fury yeah she's still a little i i i hate it you're you're we're comparing shivana to another dragon that's also a forward cost that has the exact same stat lines and i'm and i'm thinking that it might be better in some cases because shivana doesn't have fury it's a little frustrating in that way but it it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, it, it's she's better now, and that's all that matters. Vladimir, Vladimir is really cool. He's a really cool guy. I like playing him even when he's not meta. I especially like playing him with Demacia, which is why that was the first deck that I made. Uh, the reason like I, why I like playing with Demacia is Rangers Resolve, uh, Cythria. I like the combination between Vladimir and Cythria making a sort of a, it's almost like a two pronged finisher. Uh, one that, one that's a skill that does direct damage and the other that gives plus one plus one to all other attackers and gives fearsome, making it harder to block. So, and which end, which offsets the damage given by the skill. And that's, and that's really nice. It really is. You and now you get to control who gets hit by your ability by depending on if it's on the right or if it's on if they're on the left they won't get hit. If they're on the right of Vladimir, they will get hit. Which is nice. Having more control is definitely something that help will help Vladimir a lot. Especially in decks that don't have the benefit of having uh toughness and uh and will have a plethora of one health units. In fact, it allow, 
in Freljord, it allows you to run some one health units that you wouldn't run before because you were afraid of killing them every time you attacked with them. So that's really nice. Uh, and and of course the uh, what really what really helped me, especially in uh, when I was playing with him, uh, was the uh, level up condition going down by one. That was nice. That that I really felt that. I really felt that. It, it actually felt more reliable to level up uh, Vladimir. And leveled up Vladimir is way better than non-level Vladimir because of regeneration. So that's nice. And and here we are. We have Trundle uh, taken down by one health, as it should be. And his pillar down by two health. Good nerf. Honestly, there's a reason why regeneration on a six health unit is strong. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> it is it, just it makes it really hard to kill because there's a lot of five attack units, <laughs> and, and and having regeneration on, on on that and surviving that means you can survive on one health and then just heal on full health, and it makes it really hard to kill. And of course, for for something that's completely free. Having eight health was a little oppressive, so it, this was a nice change. Ezreal. Ezreal is probably the next deck I'm going to do tomorrow, though I am deciding between uh, Noxus and uh, Bilgewater right now. And Funsmith. Funsmith. We'll get this Funsmith. Uh, this, uh, this change. Uh, obviously, the level up condition is huge. It means that he, you can play him in more plethora of regions like you, you did before. And this, this is huge. Uh, you can still do the burst spell things, but it's not as oppressive. And it now incentivizes you to target uh, the enemies with, like, if you have certain spells that can only target the enemy, th that's where this, this really comes into play. Things, it's funny, actually. You, Arachnoid Center... The uh, sentry actually triggers this and deals two damage to the to the nexus. It's actually kind of funny. All right, let me cast it up. Yeah, when you cast the spell, deal one. Wait, when you cast it. Okay. Oh no, sorry. It's specifically spell. My bad. My bad. I was thinking something else. I thought I thought it was included skills. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. It does not include... <laughs> it does not include Arachnoid Sentry. I'm being dumb. But what if it could? I wish it was... All targets, not just spells, but it's okay. It's... it's. I love this rework. I think it's... It gives them a... Clear... A more clear objective... Uh, that makes sense with his level up condition. Jinx, uh... Jinx... This is just... This can now trigger the same round as leveling it's not it it matters it does matter there are several cases where like you you have rummage you rummage away your hand and then you dr then you level up and then you empty out the cards that you gain from rubber rummaging but then you don't get a rocket and you still have mana and now after you empty your hand again after the first initial emptying in within the same turn you get that rocket, which will matter. But it's not nearly as big as a buff as with Lucian, because with Lucian, it's a lot easier to have an ally die within that same round, and it matter. This this requires more synergy and cards working out when you draw them, sort of thing. So it, it won't happen all the time, but it's still big. It's still big. I would not underestimate this. It, it, Jinx was already strong, and now she's stronger. That, mm, watch out. Tark, power to three. Yeah. Basically the same treatment as Shivana, which is a little sad. Uh, honestly, does it matter? It does matter. Fearsome blocking. Gets more, a little bit better uh, attacks as well. Um... Makes him a better all-around card, uh, which he probably needs because his level up condition is so greedy that he needs to be more reliable as a face unit uh, in doing his uh, 
and doing his base stuff for him to be viable. So giving the power, I think, I think it's going to do a a lot. I think it's going to do a lot for him. It's just he just won't be a. He still won't be as relevant as some of the other champions, though, which is sad to say. I, I do like the fact that he got buffed, though. I think he needed it. Followers, Tiana Crownguard. Oh, boy. Yay. Two stat gains. Not that It's not going to change much. But now she's beefier. Hey. The symmetry now. 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Feels much better. Just aesthetically. She was aesthetically buffed. Weirding stones. All right, they're hitting. Yeah, they, they've hit ramp. Three health. Things like uh, get excited. Things that deal three damage. Fiora. And other challengers. Kill this a lot easier now. I mean, it's, it's not going to come. I'm not going to say ramp is completely destroyed, but it's going gonna, it's gonna, to it take a hit. It's not going to be. Do uh, as dominant as it used to be, which is good because they're so annoying. Fuzzy Caretaker. Now, this is why I think uh, actually has some potential with Tark. Not not Tark Lulu, mind you. Just Tark and maybe maybe Tark and Zed or something like that. And the reason for that, <coughs> the reason for that is because now it's three, so you can play this on three, and then that leads up into a better attack with uh with your Tark. So, and and you'll do it because when I'm supported plus three health is really nice. Honestly, it's really nice. It make it makes the tar the attack with Tark really good, even if you don't have any other units. And just have those two. This gets plus three health and it gets the armor plus the three so and it has three attack. Now Tark has three attack. A lot better attack overall. If and if you want to, you can pair it up with Zed and then support Zed and give Zed a massive attack. Honestly, I, I really I, I'm actually gonna experiment with that deck because it also I say this, but it also uh also uh what's the term? It also uh, curves well with Tiari now. Play Tiari on two, play this on three. Profit. Mina Swiftfoot. Mina Swiftfoot. Yeah. She need Her base stats sucked. Like, sucked. Like, she died to five attack units. But now, she has six, six health, which is nice. So a little better at blocking. And she gets the seven attack. Pretty nice, pretty nice. The quick attack is what makes it really good. Quick attack is nice. So nice. Now, like, when you're having those late game unit-based games, that's where she shines with her with her active ability. And even if, like, even if you just have to bully, play her by herself and not get the effect off, she's still a threat because she... On attack, you can't really trade well with her. So that's nice. Overall, th this is very nice. I like it. I like it. And now Funsmith. Ooh, Funsmith is going to be fun. Uh -huh -huh. Four cost. Four cost is exactly what this card needed. It, this card just screams combo. Uh, an empowering combo in Piltover. With all the damage spells it has. And now it's one, one cost less. Which is huge. Gotta love it. I can't wait to add this. Because I'm going to be playing Funsmith with Ezreal. It's just going to happen. It might not be the most optimal, but it's going to happen. Black Spear. Deal 4 to a unit. Really good. Don't knock it till you try it. You'll probably see this in more Anivius, Anivius type, type concepts. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, all right, Riptide Rex, seven cannon barrages to six and minus one power. This is absolutely gutted. It is sad because ever since they nerfed uh, Petty Officer and Yordle Grifter, Piltover has never been the same. And now 
Now it's even worse. I mean, not Piltover. <laughs> Bilgewater. Bilgewater has never been the same. And now it's even worse. Now, now it's even worse. I mean, it's funny. If you have a level, leveled up Ezreal and you play this, then you, you can do uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 damage to the Nexus, guaranteed. Hey. That's nice. It is nice. All right, and then the Eclipse Dragon. Eclipse Dragon is huge, 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 huge. I have, I have a dragon deck that all set up with uh that uses uh, Leona and Aurelian Soul. It is, and this card is going to. This this card is really good. The two health. Now it doesn't die to things that are lower cost and weaker than it. And it has two really good day, a really good daybreak effect and a really good nightfall effect. It's just. And if you pair them with Ravoon, you can get both of them. It, it, it's crazy. Absolutely bonkers. And that's and that's the patch notes. Uh, there's other things, writing and stuff, things that the devs have said. Eh, I'm not really interested in that right now. I, I just wanted to spit this out there, get my thoughts rolling, and put it into a video. With that being said... I hope you all enjoy your day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.